I think that the greatest advance in this area is the recognition that there are several targets that uh, we can actually uh, focus on at the peripheral and the central level. So that, uh, you know, that has lent itself to the treatment with what we call multimodal therapy. So the idea of treating post-operative pain with one drug is obsolete. And uh, we should actually take advantage of all these alternative therapeutic uh, uh, modalities in order to improve the quality of pain and decrease the incidence of side effects. There are three situations at play. You know, the first one is the normal patient who does not have the predisposition to develop a chronic surgical pain syndrome. And this is the patient in whom we can implement different uh, therapeutic alternatives uh, that I have discussed in my, in my lecture so that uh, the risk of uh, uh, prolonged postoperative pain or even chronic pain can be decreased. On the other hand, there are individuals that have genetic predisposition yeah. in whom no matter what we do, there will be a problem. And then the third one is those patients in whom there is a predisposition to have chronic pain and the surgeon uh, uh, cuts a, a nerve either purposely, uh, example during uh, uh, cancer surgery or accidentally. And under those circumstances, then uh, if the patient has predisposition, then the uh, chronic pain syndrome flourishes. You know, we have different alternatives. The history is very important because uh, in some diseases, the prevalence of neuropathic pain is very high. Diabetic neuropathy, post herpetic neuralgia. So history is important. Physical examination, so that we can determine uh, what are the signs that the patient has, allodynia, hyperalgesia, uh, cold hyperalgesia, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, you know, there is the utilization of uh, uh, questionnaires that help you decide. I think that what is called the DN4 that was developed in, uh, uh, in France, the Dolor Neuropathique uh, 4, is very easy to utilize. In Latin America, Pain Detect has been uh, promulgated as an option. And then dedicated testing, MRIs, CT scans, um, electromyographic studies can actually help you round up the diagnosis and help you decide what are you dealing with. Mm -hmm.